right, so in the last video, we took a look at the CIS Kubernetes benchmark report. We looked at how to download it, we looked at how to view it, and there was a lot in there. <laughs> so, like I said in the last video, don't, uh, don't think that you gotta memorize all of it. So now that you know what it is, let's go ahead and take a look at a tool that actually scans for cluster scanning. Well, we're gonna take a look at two, actually. We're gonna take a look at Kubescape, and then we're gonna take a look at Aqua Security's Kubebench. And what I wanna show is how we can actually scan a Kubernetes cluster to ensure that it's following best practices from a security perspective and just from a good standardization perspective. So with that, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna Google Kubebench installation and you're gonna come up to this GitHub link right here and you're gonna see some different installation options. Now, I'm gonna be running this on an Ubuntu server, so I'm gonna use the Ubuntu option. However, there are a bunch of other options here, even installing directly from the source. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy this curl, I'm gonna open up my terminal and I'm gonna run this. And if I do an LS, we can see that we have our cube bench installation right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install it. All right, so that's installed. And what I wanna do really quick is just run kubectl get nodes. And as you can see here, I have one control plane and one worker node. I'm running on cube ADM with two Ubuntu 20.04 boxes. And I actually had a problem with the other Kubernetes cluster that I was using. So I switched to another one that I have. If I just run kubectl get nodes, we can see it's the same exact setup, one control plane, one worker node. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a cube bench. Okay, and that was pretty quick. As you can see, we have a few around the summary total, what passed, what failed. And if we go ahead and if we scroll up here a little bit, all the way to the top actually, we're gonna see that it runs a bunch of scans. It tells you what passes, it tells you what fails. And then if you scroll down, there's some remediations. And the cool thing about these remediations is that it actually gives you the command and the configurations that you need to make sure that this is working properly. So I really like that. I really love the fact that it's gonna give you the recommendation instead of just telling you what's wrong because that doesn't really do much. You know, It tells you what's wrong and then you gotta go figure it out for yourself. So this is really cool. Now, let's go ahead and look at Kubescape really quick. Okay, so now with Kubescape, it's a little bit different. Number one, you're gonna get this UI and then you can connect your clusters here. And if you go to configuration scanning and let's say I just click on my AKS environment, for example, you see here that there are CIS scoring right here, so it is running against CIS. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see all of the issues that failed, the ID, and then the remediation right here. So you're actually gonna see the remediation here for everything. Now I don't see any remediations that give this specific command, but it does tell you exactly what you need to do. And then if you click on one of the IDs, for example, it's gonna bring up the explanation and then it's gonna give you the remediation. So you're not gonna see the remediation like the actual code piece right here. However, again, if you click on one of the IDs, you're gonna get it full-fledged right here in a nice UI. And that's how you can get started with some CIS scanning using a few tools that I find very interesting. Thank you so much for watching.